Let's look at an example which is for a company called Fruit Computer Company and that fruit probably is not an apple. Uh, so I want you to pause the video, read through the problem statement and try to identify some probabilities and construct a tree. Okay, then we will do it together. So it says the company uh, manufactures memory chips in lots of 10 chips. So each lot has 10 chips in it. Uh, from past experience, Fruit knows that 80% of all lots contain 10% defective chips. So, probability of Ten percent defect is eighty percent, and twenty percent of all lots contain fifty percent defective chips. So probability of fifty percent defect is twenty percent. <clears throat> and if a good that is ten percent defective, so they call this a good lot good lot uh, if a good lot it costs basically thousand dollars to process a good lot and then it it uh, a good batch and it costs uh, four thousand and these are called bad batches uh, that have 50 percent defective it costs uh, 4000 to process those so basically we don't know if this batch is good or bad we don't know about that but it has the option to rework them uh, if you rework a batch without even knowing if it's good or bad uh, it becomes a good batch and then it costs only 1000 to process them so you have the option for example to rework all the incoming uh, batches and then process them with uh, um, two thousand dollars one thousand for rework one thousand for processing a good batch or you may not do that and sometimes uh, you get a good batch only one thousand to process and then sometimes bad batches that cost four thousand to process alternatively they have the option to take a sample or do an experiment they take one chip out at the cost of hundred dollars test it and based on that they can determine or guess if it's a good good batch or bad if it's good they'll probably just send it for production if it's bad it's probably better to rework it first and then uh, I mean if they guess it's bad it's better to rework it and then send it for production okay let's organize all of this information into a decision tree <coughs> So, the decision is whether to test one chip. So, once I receive a batch, a batch here is received and it has 10 memory cards in it. Uh, don't test. If I don't test it, then I have the option to rework it. If I rework it, it definitely becomes a good batch and it costs only a 1000 to process it. But reworking itself also costs a thousand. So 1000 for reworking, 1000 for processing a good batch is minus 2000. And I if send it directly for processing. then there is an event if it's a good batch if it's a bad batch if it's good it costs only 1000 and i don't pay any additional cost so one mi minus 1k if it's a bad batch i have to pay minus 4k to process it additionally i have the option to test one chip when i test it it can be okay or it can be defective if it's okay as i said before i can copy the entire branch up there here i have the option of rework and i have the option to send it directly and 
if in that case it's gonna be good or bad uh, and if I rework it it's just gonna be good this time I pay minus 2100 I pay 2100 because 1000 for rework 1000 for processing a good batch and I already paid hundred dollar to um, test that one chip of course when you test it it's better to just um, uh, to if it's like the te if the, the test result is good it's better to send it and not do rework but if it's defective it's probably going to be a bad batch and it makes more sense to rework it there is no K here uh, and then send it it's gonna be good or bad so the cost you add a hundred to all of the costs here minus and then that okay I constructed a tree that explains the problem here now let's see what probabilities we have uh, probability of having a good batch is given to us it's 80 percent probability of having a bad batch is given to us it's 20 percent uh, what are some other probabilities that are given to us it says contains one out of ten defective so in other words probability of defective if i know it's a good batch is 10 percent and probability of defective if i know it's a bad batch it's 50 percent but what do I need here on this decision tree? What is this probability that's missing here? This is probability of good batch if that one part that we took out and tested was defective. This is probability of bad if that part was uh, okay. Sorry, this was okay. This one is probability of good if the test was defective. Probability of bad if the test was uh, defective okay so we are missing those we also missed the probability that that one one memory that we test is going to be okay and that because we don't know if it's a good batch or bad batch right so we are going to go through the three steps uh, to identify all the all these posterior probabilities that are so these are the posterior probabilities um, these four and this is the probability of experimental outcome we need to identify these in order to be able to solve the tree or complete the tree so let's find those out so probabilities that are given to me Probability of good, 80%. Probability of bad, 20%. Probability of defective in good is 10%. Probability of defective in bad is 50%. And I'm going to add their complements. Probability of, what is the complement of defective given good? The given is the same. This time, instead of detect, defective, I put okay that's 0.90 some of them is one complement of this same domain okay if it's bad one minus that is 50 some of this is one so what I'm what do I need for this entry needed the posterior probabilities I need P of good batch if the test result is defective probability of it's complement bad batch if it's defective probability of good if it's okay probability of bad if it's okay defective for that one memory chip these are experimental outcomes probability of um, okay so a step one calculate all the joint probabilities for uh, a states of the world these are the states of the world and 
experimental outcomes these are experimental outcomes defective and okay so basically all the combinations so step one probability of good joint probability of good and defective is p of i'm gonna pick from here p of defective given good times p of good i have both of them up here defective given good is 0.10 times 0.80 which is 0 0.08 bad batch and defective that's another combination so probability of okay given that it's a bad batch is 50 percent probability of bad batch is 20 percent that's point uh, 10. okay we got all the combinations that was a step one a step two it says uh, calculate probability of experimental outcomes what are experimental outcomes p of okay that one chip that we take out is okay p of defective that one chip that we take out is defective so p of okay which one of these four has the okay this and this so those two i add them up point 0.72 plus point 0.10 is point 0.82 defective p of defective these two have the defective piece so and note that some of those two is one which uh, checks uh, because those are complements three the last step i calculate the posterior probabilities by dividing joint probability by the condition so p of good given that the sample was defective is divided by p of d joint probability of good and defective that is 0 0.08 divided by um, 0 0.18 probability of good given that the part was okay good and okay divided by p of um, okay which is 0.82 and then good and okay is 0.72 and the other two are complements of these but i'm going to write them down as a practice p of good given sorry p of bad given it was d defective is p of bad and the over defective over P of defective which is if I don't want to write that it's the complement of this which is 1 minus point zero eight over point eighteen. okay bad given that it was okay it's P of bad and okay over P of okay So I'm going to use these probabilities to recalculate uh, to solve the decision tree basically. Here you see that I have added those probabilities to the original decision tree that I had. Next I'm going to do to use the backward method to get the expected values for the events and mark the best uh, decision. So starting from the top branch here of the states of the world, the main events. Um, Comparing minus 1600 and minus 2000, this is a smaller value. I pick that, so this becomes minus 1600. And here on this branch, I'm comparing minus uh, 20, 2100 and minus 1460. This is a better value. I mark that and move it here. And between these two, um, minus 2100 is a better value i mark this move it here and from these two i need to calculate the expected value which is 0 0.82 times 1460 plus 0 0.18 times minus 
minus 2100 which is so between these two values minus 1600 and minus 1575 this is a smaller value so I pick that uh, so the best decision is looking at the three so this is the value I move here the minimum cost here is 1575 uh, for processing each given batch if we follow this decision first we test it, test one chip if it's okay we send it directly for production if it's defective we rework it okay so we were able to uh, use the base here to get the probabilities and then the rest was similar to what we already knew about uh, the symmetries